All right, YouTube, we got another video today. We got a 2013 Ford Edge, and we're gonna change out the canister, the canister valve. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. And we're gonna probably need a 18 millimeter, and that's probably about it. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you. All righty, first thing we wanna do is we wanna take off this connector right here. That's this little push tab. You just push that little push tab down. Right here, just push that down and pull it out. There you go. And then you wanna, you have a um, eight millimeter here and an eight millimeter there. Just put your little socket on your ratchet with a little extension. You can take those up out of there. But before we do that, I'm gonna come right there is a hose this here it's a hose it should have a push tab on the side of it sometimes they have a push tab let me check it out yes it has a push tab on it you want to push that tab in and pull it out sometimes you need a screwdriver for it let's see if we can do this by hand today I got one hand one moment and I'll be right back all right, we got those two 18 millimeters out. We got this connector. I didn't take this um, line out. I tried to, I just couldn't get to that push tab. So I wanna take this out first, just pull it. Pull this out first and then see, can I get my hand under here and push this tab one moment. All righty. So I'm gonna get my hand under here and there's a tab that you push and those lift open like that. You see how those open? And you just pull that up out of there. Sometimes you gotta use a little force but you just get it up out of there. I already had started it. So just make sure those are opening up like that and pull that on out of there. And you just reinstall your new one. Same way you took that one out. Very simple. First, we're gonna put the hose on. You don't have to push any button, you just click it on there. And make sure you set it down up in here. You know what? Let's see here. We're gonna set it down on there and push it on in. And put your bolts back in. Tighten them down hand tight. Start them with your finger, finish it with your um, small ratchet and then just put the clip on there and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down and then we'll go from there. Thank you. All righty, I wanna thank y'all once again for watching Rice's Auto Repair Mobile Service. If you can, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you can, tune in for more videos to do, to do it yourself in your own garage, in your own home. Thank you very much, goodbye.